Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batul and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. Okay, so under the topic of binary systems, a student must know the concept of a byte and how a byte can be used in order to measure a memory size, right? So in this video, I'm going to tell you that what a byte is and how we can use a byte in order to measure the memory size of a computer. Right, so let me start with the topic. Okay, let's share the definition of a byte. But before byte, let me tell you what a bit is. B-I-T, bit. Okay, we already have, um, uh, have an understanding of binary numbers, right? So let's suppose I have a binary number 101011, right? Let's suppose I have this binary number and... If I talk about bit, then a bit is nothing but this individual digit. I can say that this is my byte. Sorry, this is my bit. Either it is 0, it is 1. This is basically known as a bit. Or a single digit, right? In a binary number, a single digit, either it is 0 or 1. It is known as a bit, right? Now, Moving towards a byte, a byte is nothing but a series of, it's a series of 8 bits, right? Okay, now um, I can take an example of uh, a byte. Let's suppose I have a memory location or a register having 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, right? It's my register. It can carry almost 8 bits. Let's suppose 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Let's suppose it's a register of 8 bits. And um, I can, in other words, say that it is a byte. Why? Because I know that a byte is a series of 8 bits. So if this register contains 8 bits, then I can call it as a one byte. Okay, I hope you got an understanding of byte over here now. In terms of memory, I can say that the smallest unit, smallest unit of memory is known as a byte, right? So in terms of memory or in terms of memory size, if I need to measure a memory size, then I can say that a byte is the smallest unit of memory and all the other units of memories are a multiple of byte, right? So let me tell you uh, other units and I am going to make a chart over here for all the units of the memory or um, the memory sizes that we usually measure right in the computer okay so the smallest unit i have already said that the smallest memory unit is a byte and it you contains eight bits okay now moving towards other units after byte i have a kb what is kb kb is nothing but it's a kilobyte right and what it contains it actually contains 1024 bytes right or in terms of bits i can say that it contains it corresponds to 2 raised to the power 10 bits right so it's a chart i am going to make a chart over here after byte i have kilobyte and after kilobyte i have megabyte okay similarly megabyte is going to have 1024 kb right 1 megabyte equals to 1024 KB or in other words, if I go towards the byte, then it is nothing but 1024 multiply by 1024 byte. I hope you are getting an understanding of it. Let me erase that. Right. So. So we are talking about bytes over here. Okay, 
this is my megabyte megabyte is nothing but 1024 kb and i know that what a kb is a kb is 1024 byte so i just replaced it with that so in terms of byte 1 megabyte equals to 1024 into 1024 byte right okay now let me tell you another that is 1 gigabyte gigabyte is usually having 1024 mbs right and again in terms of byte what, what i can say megabyte is 1024 kilobyte kilobyte is 1024 bytes so i can write it as 1024 into 1024 of kb into 1024 of byte so this is how we can say that 1 gigabyte is equals to 3 times 1024 bytes right now after gigabyte i am having terabyte okay so terabyte is nothing but it is 1024 gigabyte and it is 4 times 1024 1024 into 1024 Byte. It is four times byte, right? One zero two four byte. Okay. After terabyte, I am going to have petabyte, and petabyte is again as same as these all the units that we have already seen. So one zero two four terabyte, and this is going to have five one zero two four factors. One zero two four into one zero two four into one zero two four into one zero two four, or you can calculate it. I'm writing over here. You can have one definite value for that. You can calculate it in the calculator to get the accurate uh, value in terms of byte, right? So this is how. a memory can be measured it can be measured in terms of kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte petabyte right so you must know that what a petabyte is in terms of byte or what a terabyte is what a gigabyte is in terms of bytes right so this is how we can um use a byte or the multiples of byte in order to measure a memory size right so now i am going to share a past paper question with you that is related to this topic in order to tell you that how a student can attempt the question that is related to this topic right so let me move into that question okay so uh, i am coming back to you after writing that question okay so here is the question of october number november 2019 paper okay it's a simple true false question you have to mark either it is true or false and you have given four statements over here so it is a four marks question one marks for each statement right you need to guess either it's a true statement or a false okay now let me solve it over here or let me to just uh do the working of it over here okay picking the first statement 25 kb is larger than 100 mbs so what we need to compare we need to compare 25 kb with 100 mb so in order to compare both of these we need to convert them in terms of bytes or in terms in the smallest unit right so it is basically 25 into 1024 byte okay and if we say about megabyte then it is nothing but 100 multiply by 1024 it is 2 times 1024 1 mb right 24 byte okay so let's see which uh, element has the more bigger factors right so it is quite clear that 25 into 1024 can never be equal to these 
high factors when they will be multiplied with each other they will definitely having a bigger number than this right so we concluded that 100 mb is larger than 25 kb so here what the statement says the statement says that 25 kb is larger than 100 mb but we have proved it wrong over here why because we saw that 100 mb is larger than this so it's a false statement right just take the statement either it is true or false so we found it that it's a false statement i have ticked the column of false over here now picking the second one that is 999 mb okay what we need to find that is larger than 50 gb again we need to compare both of the units of memory okay let me convert both of them in terms of bytes so that we can compare it easily now 999 mb would be equals to 1 mb equals to 1024 into 1024 byte so i am going to write 1024 two times 24 byte okay i am just writing the 50 gb over here beneath that because i don't have enough space over here okay what about gigabyte? Gigabyte is basically three times 1024. Okay, so I'm going to write 50, this one. And for a gigabyte, I'm going to write 1024, 1024, and 1024 bytes. Okay, again, it's very clear that what is larger over here? This one, 50 gigabytes is greater than this 999 MB. Right? Why? Because I am go having three 1024 factors and this is only having 1024 two times. So, um, 999 is very, is lesser than 1024, right? So, uh, I think it is clear to you, it is very simple mathematics, right? So, this is of course larger than this one 999 ampes right so what this statement says a statement says the converse of that it said that 999 amp is larger than 50 gb but we saw that no 50 gb is larger than this one right so it is again the false statement right now let me see the third one what it says 35 kilobyte is equal is smaller than 2 gb right we need to compare both of them i have 35 kb and 2 gigabyte okay now what is the 3500 kb it is nothing but 3500 into 1024 byte and what about gigabyte gigabyte is nothing but it is three times 1024 right so 2 into 1024 into 1024 into 1024 so let's suppose i just multiply this two with this or in other words it is again i think this one is larger why let me just multiply this two with 1024 2 into 1024 is 2048 right then multiplying with 1024 into 1024 right okay then if i can say see that this is 1024 only one times and this is two times so if i can simply cancel out this and just see this 3500 can this 3500 be equal to 2048 into 1024 no it cannot be because when this 2048 will be multiplied by 1024 then of course it will be greater right so yes 2 gb is greater right than 3500 kilobytes okay so here the statement says 3500 kilobyte is smaller than 2 gb of course, it is smaller because we have seen that 2 gigabyte is here larger. It has more factors. When we multiply, we are getting a greater number than this one, right? So, yes, 3500 KB is a smaller one than 2 GB. Okay, so moving towards the last one that is 2350 bytes is a smaller than 2 KB. Okay, now let me erase 
a little okay so solving this last statement that says that 2350 by 8 is smaller than 2kb right so what a 2kb is a 2kb is nothing but 2 into 1024 by 8 and i multiply 2 with that i'll get 2048 by 48 by so is 2048 greater than 2350 or this one of course 2350 is bigger than this and what this statement says it says that 2350 byte is smaller than 2kb no 2350 byte is greater than 2kb why because it is 2048 byte only right so this is a false statement so i have tick the false one right so in this way we have solved this question uh we saw that how the different memory sizes can be compare comparable uh and how a byte uh is used in terms of memory sizes how we used it in order to measure the different memory sizes so this is all about this topic i hope you got you guys got an understanding of byte and uh, its measurement in terms of memory size right so this is uh, for now and in the next video we will be going to uh, study that how a binary number can be stored in a memory in a computer register in different kind of applications right so uh, thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video uh, take care for now um and bye bye